Hello, I'm Elia Larey and welcome back to another Understanding Molarity uh, video tutorial. Uh, this has been done for SI for Biology 1441. My name is Elia Larey and uh, I'm the SI instructor. Um, just real quick, we have three very simple short problems here. Um, in our last video we just talked about understanding or just being able to read a molarity problem and just seeing how those numbers fit in now we're gonna just go one step further and we're gonna get to more difficult problems as we go the next problem here we'll just solve some basic very basic molarity problems and so uh, let us begin our first thing let's start with something very simple remember the molarity is concentration um, and that's moles of whatever solvent um, so I'm sorry moles of solute per liter or volume of solvent and it's not always water but uh, in this case I use water just for simplicity's sake so our qu first question here says a 16 gram 16 grams of oxygen is dissolved in 2 liters of water what is the molarity of the final solution now this is as basic as you can get I'll give you a few minutes just to work it out in your head or on a piece of paper and you can pause the video here and just try to solve it and then we're gonna go through it together again alright alrighty so let's see how do we tackle a problem like this first we're told um, we have 16 grams 16 grams of oxygen and if you go to your periodic table if you, now's the time you go to your periodic table just to see how much um, how much 16 grams of oxygen is you notice in your periodic table it's probably 15.99 something but we'll just round it up to 16 grams so in your periodic table the molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams for every one mole in other words 16 grams per mole is what the molar mass of oxygen is so if I dissolve 16 grams of oxygen in other words I only have one mole of oxygen Do you kinda see how that works we have 16 grams of oxygen it means you only have one mole and that is dissolved in 2 liters of H2O of water so you go back to your formula molarity and we have one mole one mole of oxygen divided dissolved in two liters of water that gives you 0 0.5 a 0 0.5 molar solution very easy very straightforward in other words you have 0 0.5 moles of oxygen for every one liter of water very simple very straightforward okay now let's go to another problem okay another problem so everyone sees how we got this and you can always replay this if you didn't really get it at first so always replay it okay next problem we have a 12 12 grams of m magnesium is dissolved in 250 milliliters of water what is the molarity of the final solution again I'll give you time here you can pause the video right now and just try to work it out and see if you're able to get it by yourself and then we can walk through it together alrighty okay let us go so here you have something a little tricky um, always pay attention pay attention to your units so remember molarity molarity is measured and me is measured in moles per liter and in this case you have 250 milliliters so pay attention to that when you 
get to solving your answer. Okay, so we have 12 grams. What is the first thing? Molar mass of magnesium. Turn to your periodic table. You see the molar mass of magnesium is given as 24.305, but just for the sake of simplicity, let's just round it up. 24 grams per mole. What does that mean? It means you have 24 grams for every one mole. That's what that molar mass is telling you. If you have 24 grams for every one mole, what did you, what do, was the question given us? Here we have 12 grams to start with. So we have half of that. So we have 12 grams to start with. And we know that the molar mass for every one mole we have 24 grams of magnesium so to find out how many moles you have the grams will cancel out right here this grams and this gram will cancel out and that will give you how many moles you have of magnesium and that means you have 0.5 or one half 0.5 or one half mole of magnesium. So you already have your moles. Bingo. That's done. So we'll go ahead right here and we'll underline that so we don't forget. Now let's move on to the next part of the question. Um, we need, we have 250 milliliters of water. But we have to convert that milliliters to liters if we want to make the, get this question right. So I hope we all know that one liter equals 1000 milliliters so in this case your answer that you get if you use your calculator will be 0 0.25 liters of water now you go down to your molarity now just plug and chuck molarity at 0 0.5 moles of magnesium and liters you have 0 0.250 liters and that gives you this is just plug and chug at this point you have two a two molar solution see that very simple very straightforward alright and if you have any trouble with this or any comments feel free to just um, email me shoot us an email and we'll go ahead and okay let's run real quick to the third problem the third problem is slightly trickier. It says we have 6 grams of sucrose is dissolved in 350 milliliters of water. What is the molarity of the final solution? Now sucrose is a very big compound. So if you notice here from this molecular formula, you have 12 atoms of carbon, 22 of hydrogen, 11 of oxygen. So now you have to find the composite the uh, composite molar mass of sucrose, of a molecule of sucrose. Again, don't forget to pay attention to these units. You don't want to go ahead and find your moles and divide by um, 350. Uh, your number will be too small and you'll be way off. And there's are ways in which you can test yourself. So let's go real quick. How do we solve this? We have six, gr six grams of sucrose. So molar mass of sucrose what is the molar mass of sucrose let's do that real quick so molecular weight of sucrose now how do you solve this I'll give you a few minutes just to mess around with it real quick see if you're able to get that by yourself alright okay so you have 12 atoms of carbon I'll move to the brackets here. You have 12 atoms of carbon and that's times the molar mass of carbon plus how many of oxygen? You have 22 I'm sorry 22 of hydrogen times the molar mass of hydrogen plus you have 11 of oxygen times the molar mass of oxygen. 
and this right here will give you your molar weight now if you break that down what do you get uh, as you punch that into your calculator you punch that down you get something like this and if you add all of that up you get that the total molar weight of sucrose is 342 grams per mole now that's a pretty big number so if you go back to the question you only have six you only have six grams you don't even have up to one mole yet so you can already see that it's going to be a small number um, so if you have a big number in your answer for your number of moles then you know you're doing something fishy and so to solve that real quickly you go six grams I'm sorry six grams of sucrose uh, you have six grams for of sucrose and you know for every one mole of sucrose you have 342 grams and so you punch that in your calculator and that should give you your answer again I'm solving all of this in real time with you so excuse me for the delay so those those are your moles again go now you go down to the liters how many liters do you have you have 350 milliliters and you have to convert that to li milliliters you have to convert that to liters so you know one liter equals to a thousand milliliters and so you know your answer is 3.350 liters and now you're going out to molarity what is your molarity of your solution how many moles do you have? You have 0 0.0175 divided, sorry, moles divided by your 0 0.350 liters. And you punch that in on your calculator. You see that you have 0 0.05012 or 01 molar. So that is the mo that is the concentration of your solution. So I hope this helped. I hope this um, kind of just gives you a good idea of what you can do with molarity problems. On our next video, we're gonna get up to a little more complex stuff. We're gonna go from molecules to moles, and we're gonna use density. And if you're given the density of a solution, how do you get the number of grams and things like that? So um, thank you very much, and feel free to email me with any questions or anything. Thank you, and you have a good day. Bye bye.